Welcome to Wednesdays with Weingarts. I'm Ron Weingarts. Today I'm here to talk about the Billy Goat force line of blowers. If you look at there's a lot of different models, but one thing that is the same across the line, they're all built with the same uh, commercial grade features, um, offering things like polycarbonate housings that are, are very lightweight, considerably lighter than any of the competitive models. And you also see they're, they're smooth inside. Uh, so you have less air loss versus a conventional squared off shoulder. So it's a more efficient design. Uh, you also can run a larger fan because this uses a 16 blade uh, poly impeller versus most competitors are running eight blade steel. So with the poly impeller, uh, it's less weight and with 16 blades, basically you're taking 16 smaller bites of air instead of eight big bites. So you get less effect wanting to push the blower sideways um, and it still will develop more air because it can more efficiently move the 16 smaller uh, with the, the equivalent horsepower versus a versus an eight blade impeller. So it's a very efficient design and this has been out for a while. It's, it's time proven, very durable um, and it is the most powerful blower in its class. It's also the lightest weight in its class. But besides that you'll see they start with a little six horsepower machine. Uh, there again this is still um, got a lot of power uh, but you know you have to run a smaller blade with a smaller impeller. But it's very light, so for homeowner application, if you got a lot of leaves, this will still blow. Um, equivalent, this would be equivalent to about the performance of three backpack blowers to, to give an idea as far as uh, air volume coming out of this blower. But as you move up to the larger machines, there's a lot of different uh, engine options. Uh, the larger the engine, you can get more, more blowing capacity out of it. Um, but they all have the same kind of features. They have the pneumatic wheels for easy flotation, the aim and shoot feature. You'll see this lever so you can, you know, as you're going along, if you've got a big pile of leaves, you can shoot it up. If you want more down to kind of loosen the stuff that's on the ground. And it also has a lock, so you can lock it in any position so you don't have to hold it in that position. They all have nice uh, rubber grip handles and very wide handles, so if you're going up a hill, you're able to kind of get some good leverage on, 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 the, on the blower. Also, if you notice, it does come with a tube, this little storage spot. You can put it on there if you, want to, if you do want to blow forward instead of off to the side. I mentioned there's a lot of different engines options from Vanguard to, to Honda engines, um, and they also do offer a self-propelled model. So if you have um, you know, I mentioned it's light, but it's still a lot of blowers, so if you've got a large property or maybe some hills, um, this is a variable drive self-propel, all just with control of this lever. So it gives you self-propel, um, and yet you can still freewheel it for getting in those tight areas, then just re-engage your self-propel. Uh, so it's a gr great feature um, if you've got a lot of work to do or some, you know, maybe some rougher terrain. Um, so the Billy Goat line of blowers has been a long time, performs exceptionally well. Um, we can go through the different uh, capacities on the, the different models, the blowing performance. Um, but basically as you move up the line, you're just getting more performance, still all the same commercial grade uh, design. So that's a little bit about the Billy Goat Force blowers. Thanks for listening today.